see at the bottom there in the list, Dylan Scholes from Oakville, Ontario, training in Markham with her coach, Sean Baker. She's 17 years of age. Next to her is her teammate, her training partner, Sarah Molson, a year older, 18 years of age. Also training with the Markham Aquatic Club out of Oakville. Ali Jambier, 21 years of age, was on the World Short Course Championship team back in 2018. Ella Varga, 17 years of age. Tremendous preliminary swim. She's out of the University of Calgary Swim Club. They operate a club as well as the varsity program. Both are called the University of Calgary, in case you're wondering how a 17-year-old swims in that group. Taylor Ruck, the 21-year-old, six foot tall, born in Kelowna, moved down to Phoenix with her family when she's nine months old, moved up to Toronto to train, had to buy a winter coat, never had one. Here's Kylie Haas, 25 years of age. I like to point out that when she was 16, she went to her first Olympic trials and finished 99th. She said, I was there to be inspired. It obviously worked because four years later, she went to Rio, won a bronze medal, and now we're five more years later. Ingrid Wilm, she reminded me she's six foot two, not six foot one. She's going to have lane three. Mabel Zavros will have lane number two, teammate of the woman that we saw in lane nine and lane eight, out of Oakville, Ontario originally. Brooklyn Doutright, the 18-year-old from the Moncton area in New Brunswick. Just saw one of her provincial mates, Jacob Gallant, win a bronze medal. And Reagan Rapwell from Ottawa, 17 years of age, will round out the field in lane number zero. We said before, this is it is the fam cam. All the family is very happy to be watching. Again, they probably would be here if we weren't under COVID restrictions. But this is a nice situation that they've been able to watch it. There's Kylie Moss right there. She actually graduated from the University of Toronto today and missed the ceremony. So she's here at the Olympic trials. A kinesiology major originally out of Windsor, actually in LaSalle, Ontario, right outside Windsor, Ontario. Four athletes in this race reached personal bests in the heats as they uh, jump in and get ready for this women's 200 meter backstroke four lengths of the pool. is in four, Taylor Ruck is in five, Ella Varga is in lane six. And Byron, I thought that Kylie swam, Kylie Moss swam so relaxed it looked like in the heats and went 209. I would agree with you 100%. Kylie swam with me at the University of Toronto for a long time, but then with the pandemic and the university shutting down, we had to sit down and make a philosophical decision and it was to move Kylie to the National Center here at the Pan Am Pool because it was going to be open much sooner and much longer with full access to weight rooms and everything. And Ben Titley, the head coach at the National Center, is a good friend of mine. And we felt it worked very well and it worked very well. And pleased to see Kylie swimming so well on the left of the screen there. Now you can see Taylor Ruck, much taller. Taylor Ruck, six foot, six foot one, with that longer stroke. Kylie with a little bit quicker turnover. Now the question will become, can they pick it up off of this turn, the halfway mark? So Kylie Moss's first 50 was 29.61, the second 31.80. So she's on pace now to be able to break her Canadian record if she can stay on this at this particular time. The amazing thing about Kylie Moss is her consistency. She has not been beaten in the 100 meter race since the Rio Olympic Games. She's always on the podium in the two, almost always on the podium in the 200 meter backstroke as well. It's called performance on demand and this woman always performs on demand. Very calm, very cool, very collected about the things and very unassuming. But boy, can, when she hits the water, is she ever laser focused. 32-4 for that last 50. She's back within 50 meters of this 200 meter backstroke. Taylor Ruck is in second, Ella Varga is in third, but it is all Kylie Moss. And right now, if she can just pick it up just a little bit, she might get, up, get under that Canadian record. Might just be a bit over it, but it's important at this particular point in the race to keep your legs kicking. See, is there any kick breaking the surface? Looks like the legs are giving out a little. You can see there's hardly any splash from her legs. Canadian record is 205.94, and she's oh, just over 206.67, and Ruck second in 209.2, and in third place was in lane one, Brooklyn Doubtright in 210.5. Maybe Brooklyn was inspired by 
for maritime friend Jacob Galan from New Brunswick, who won a bronze medal in the previous race, to get herself up there for third. It was really all Kylie Moss. Taylor went out with her. Taylor Rock right there next to her. Training partners now went out, went out with Kylie at the halfway mark, but then just couldn't keep up the cadence and the pace that Kylie put on there. Yes, just slightly over her personal best time. It's been a busy week for her in terms of setting that 100-meter backstroke Canadian record and second fastest time in the world. And she even swam the 50-meter freestyle on a lifetime best time. Great start. That's something that the swimmers do work on. It doesn't come naturally. You've got to pull yourself up out of the water in a certain way, arch your back to try to reduce the resistance. You don't want to splat on top of the surface. And then time the wall. You see those backstroke flags. They're five meters out. The backstrokers know when they go under those flags, they've got X number of exact strokes. They should not need to look for the wall. They know when they're supposed to turn and execute the flip turn. It's basically a freestyle flip turn. And then they'll be able to know exactly where they've got to be. Same at the touch. Notice, she didn't look for the wall. They know where the wall is. You've got to lunge for the wall. Taylor Ruck getting a big congratulations because Taylor was under the cutoff time. So Taylor will be able to swim this event at the Olympic Games. The Olympic A standard was 210.3. She went 209.26. And also, Byron, in third place, Brooklyn Douthright with a four-second personal best. Monstrous time. She came in in 210.49. Her personal best was almost 215. Amazing performance. So Kylie Moss and Taylor Ruck and Brooklyn Douthright get the medals. And two get Olympic A standards and one came within seven tenths of a second of a Canadian record and Devon is standing by with Kylie Moss. Thanks very much Rob. Kylie performance on demand consistency. What is it about the big stage that you love so much? Um, I just love racing. I love getting up and just seeing what I can do. Training's hard day in and day out and racing's the best part so I absolutely love getting the opportunity to race. Yeah, and you and I have talked about it a number of times about the frustration of not being able to do it. So was it important to, you know, prove to, be, to yourself you're still at that level, but also signal to your competitors, Kylie Mass still has it? Uh, I mean, I think it's less important the latter, but it's more about just continuing to prove myself and be the best and fastest swimmer I can possibly be. So I'm um, hoping to, you know, execute those skills and things that I work on in training and implement them into a good race. There's mom and dad again. I think they might be in the parking lot or outside the venue, Kylie. I think they're here today. Let's go right outside the venue. Such a shame that you guys can't be in here, but I know you were watching the race. What did it look like from what you guys were seeing? Congratulations. Thank you. They let us the building, so we had to come to the parking lot. <laughs> as close as you can get without being here. Uh, we'll get back to Kylie in a second, but I want to go to both of you. Uh, Kylie racing today, graduating today. During a race, you heard By Byron talk about coming to these first trials and wanting to be inspired, and now she's at this point. What's it been like as her parents to watch this journey? surreal I'm not sure we can process it <laughs> we just are, yeah just going along for the ride going along for the ride Kylie congratulations on graduating today too were you able to get to your ceremony a virtual sh ceremony I guess or was it all focused on the pool today yeah I was just focused on the pool today I think I'll try and catch that later <laughs> okay we're a month away from Tokyo do you do you do something different do you flick a switch or do you just stay and focus on the process. Um, focus on the process for sure. I think obviously after this meet, taking a look at the races, talking to the coaches and looking at what we can improve on and really focus on to hone in all the skills and be the best that we can possibly be in Tokyo. Just a last quick question. With all of the protocols and getting into the building, the masks, all of this, are there things you're learning that you're going to take into Tokyo? It's going to be very similar to this. Did it change your routine all that much, Kyla? Did it change my routine? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think we were obviously expecting it, and it is something we have to just adapt to and and go along with it. So um, obviously having this event how it is, I think, is a great practice, and I think the Canadian team will be ready for whatever Tokyo throws at us. Congratulations on a great race and a graduation today. Kylie, Thank well you. done. Thank you very much. <laughs>